guys, Stacy Will here with another Ride to Food video. Today we are riding the Trahala Skyway in the beautiful Smoky Mountains and we're also going to hit the tail of the dragon and then go grab some food at one of my favorite little spots in Maryville. So let's get into it. So if you guys ever gone on a giant cross-country motorcycle trip, recorded a ton of footage, and then completely forgot to dock the camera on some days because you were just so stoked on the ride you were on, yeah, that's me. <laughs> so here we are on my patio of my glorious apartment, shamelessly self-promoting the new Ride of Food camp mugs. Maybe they'll focus. Ooh, there they are, new camp mugs. Same thing, both sides. Feel free to go over to the website at shop.ridetofood.com as well as if you wanna check out any blogs I've written, it's ridetofood.com and you can find the shop link on there too. So let's get into the whole talking part of this video since I completely forgot to do that while I was on the road. <laughs> so on this specific day, I rode the Churahela Skyway as well as the Tail of the Dragon. You can do it in four and a half hours if you don't stop, but if you're like me and you stop every 20 minutes to check stuff out, it's not gonna be that fast, but it's, a super rad ride and you can start and end it in Maryville, Tennessee if you want, which is where Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson is and those are my homies. So I gotta give them a shout out. They helped me a ton on this trip. But anyway, we'll get to them towards the end of the video. Um, so the first road I, that I went on was the Cherahala Skyway. And I had heard so many good things about the Skyway from locals and they told me like I absolutely had to ride it. So it's about 50 miles from Toleco Plains to Robbinsville, North Carolina. Um, it's definitely not a super technical road. There's tons of locals out. There's kids on Groms and like super motos. I mean, everything was out there. I think one of the coolest things about the Cherry Halo Skyway is that it starts on the, if you start from the Tennessee side anyway, you'll start climbing up into the Smokies and you start kind of following this river and there's like fly fishermen out and it's real mossy and green and tranquil. And then as you start climbing up into the mountains, you start getting all these beautiful scenic views of the Smokies. And then as soon as you get to the top and you get to like the Tennessee, North Carolina state line, you see this big sign and it's like, hey, sharp curves, 5,000 foot elevation gain. And then you just send it into North Carolina and it gets way more technical. The curves tighten a ton and it's just a beautiful road. The road itself actually took 35 years or something to complete. And I mean, if you've ever ridden any of those roads out there, that would make a ton of sense because I don't know how anyone decided to build a road through those mountains. <laughs> it's just crazy. So definitely a road you need to ride. I wonder how many of these margaritas I can drink in one video before I look like an alcoholic. So once you get to the end of the Cherahala Skyway, the road dead ends basically at Highway 129. Now most people consider Highway 129 the tail of the dragon, but that's only like this much of the whole road. So if you turn left onto 129, it will take you to the dragon, but there's kind of a hidden gem spot along 129 called the Topoco Lodge that most locals would recommend that you're going to stop at. I think this is going to be a good spot to have a beer. Okay, just kidding. Um, because of COVID-19, you can't sit outside and just drink a beer. So we're going to go down the road. <laughs> But I hear this place has really good food. 
So I think we'll come back here eventually. So after the beer fail at Topoco Lodge, I ended up going up to Beals Gap, which is the top of the Tail of the Dragon. That's clearly all. So Tail of Dragon sits, um, how do I do this with my hands? <laughs> North Carolina, Tennessee, and then you go all the way down. <laughs> it's 318 curves and 11 miles. Really cool road. I personally think it's a little overhyped. Um, I've ridden it before, so this was not my first time. Um, I think it's a road anyone that enjoys riding motorcycles should go ride. I mean, any kind of bike you could think of was on that road that day. Go ride Tail the Dragon, get your patch, get your pin, go hang out at Deals Gap Motorcycle Resort, and then go do the Dragon, just knock it off your list. But there's so many more rad roads in Smeckles. So we rode Tail of the Dragon, we rode Chirahola Skyway, Chirahola Skyway, and now it's time to eat. So we are back at Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson, which is home to the Shed Smokehouse and Juke Joint. So it's a live music venue and it's a bar and grill. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. It's definitely a place that I would highly recommend you stop at if you're gonna be passing through Maryville, Tennessee to ride any of the roads in the Smoky Mountains. I'm traveling on the stairway. I'm traveling on the stairway Knowing that you hold the key Well, I saw you last night with another The Shed is a live music venue, barbecue joint, bar, everything. They're open, I think, seven days a week. But regardless, it's a really rad spot to go to because half the people that hang out there are, are locals, so they know the roads like the back of their hands. And if you have a map out and you're looking at where to go ride, they're more than likely gonna help you. And a lot of the people that work at Smoky Mountain Harley are like diehard riders. Even the guy who owns Smoky Mountain Harley, Scott Maddox, is a like down to earth guy who loves riding. And if he sees you looking at a map, he's probably gonna recommend a ride too. I can never stay there too long though, because no matter what day of the week it is, how many days I've been in town, everyone that works at Smoky Mountain Harley wants me to party. So as soon as I crack open one can of booze, it's on. <laughs> so that's usually my end game for the day. <laughs> So we already started drinking again. This is standard procedure here at Smoky Mountain Harley. So I think that is my official sign off for this video <laughs> before Cheers. I end up sleeping on the couch again. But Salute. thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys saw some things that you need to do out here in the Smoky Mountains and I will see you all on the next video. Later. I have